We're doing our, our rope rescue training today, getting ready for the season with Memorial Day just around the corner. Uh, we try to practice at least once a month through the winter months and before we get really busy. We work on uh, load raises, load lower systems, doing pickoffs. That's where somebody gets stuck on a cliff ledge and we have to go down and pick them off and get them down to a safe spot. Um, we actually raised a basket earlier today with a, an attendant you know, with the victim coming up the side. During a training like this, we always say that you never get closer to the edge than the body's length, unless you're tied in. So, you know, you're on cliff edge management system. Uh, when we're doing our rescues or even in trainings, everyone is hooked up to two ropes if they're going over or coming up. One's a safety line, the other one's a haul line or a load lower line. It is very important for everyone to stay on the trail. I mean, if, when you go off trail around here, there's a lot of cliffs, it's very dangerous. And one of the areas that we're in today is an area that the only way that it is accessible is with ropes. You cannot, you know, hike a trail into it. So the only way to get in there to rescue somebody is with ropes. And that's why the rope rescue team is needed. And I mean, we've increased our trail patrols, officer presence out on the trails reminding everyone but also mm -hmm. issuing citations when it's necessary definitely everyone stay on the posted constructed trail appropriate footwear stay safe while you're out there hiking